Hey, what's going on dog uh, owners out there in YouTube universe? I am Ty the dog guy. Welcome to another one of our videos in our free 10 part training series. Now, if you're just watching this one on YouTube, there's a pretty decent chance that, um, uh, that you missed out the other nine videos. Um, there's a full 10 part course here showing you how to do just about anything with your dog from aggression to good manners in the house to leash pulling and not coming when called and all sorts of stuff like that. So if you don't have the full course, go down in the description underneath the uh, video here. Um, under, if you're watching this on YouTube, click the link, you'll get the entire course um, and you'll thank me later because there's some great stuff in there on how to just get your dog to, to live more seamlessly in your lifestyle. And today, this is a big one for getting your dog to live seamlessly in your lifestyle. We're gonna be teaching the place command. The place command is go to your bed and stay put. And done right, you can use this for doorbell manners. If you're one of these people that has a dog who flips out when the doorbell rings, um, you can use this for, um, you know, dogs who beg at the table. You can use this for dogs who sneak off and chew something, dogs who sneak off and pee in the house, dogs who steal food out of your kid's hands, dogs that are rude when guests come over. Like this is, I don't want to say a cure all, but this is a cure a lot. <laughs> it helps with a lot of issues. So watch to the end because I'm going to share with you exactly how you can train this with your dog. And it's going to make your life a whole lot okay. easier. All right, guys, in a second, I'm going to share with you one command that you can do indoors that can solve so many issues. Um, what issues I'm talking about? Um, doorbell issues. Do you have a dog that freaks out when the doorbell, uh, when the doorbell rings, this can solve that. Um, begging at the table. Do you have a dog that begs at the table or annoys your kids or tries to get up on the high chair uh, during dinner time or something like that? This command can solve that. Um, what about house training or um, destruction or you know things like that? This command can solve that. If you've got these issues going on, this command can help that. What I'm talking about is the place command. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. And you can pretty quickly get like lots of results and get your dog staying put for five, 10 minutes or longer, usually within the first couple of days. But the reason this is so powerful is because in your house, the dog should learn to be calm, right? You know, too many people, you know, there are too many dogs, they're going nuts in the house. Every little thing, they see something outside and they're they're barking at the windows and they're barking because the doorbell rang and they're doing this, they're doing that. That's what this guy was doing at least. Um, and so the place command is a place where you can teach him. It's, it's a win-win. He's comfortable in his bed. Well, your dog, she, he, she is comfortable in their bed. Um, but it also puts you in a position to where they can't be doing anything wrong. So like, let's say you've got a dog who's not house trained. This guy wants to mark in the house. Well, we can't let him have free run of the house yet, but we've got to do stuff. So. He could be in his bed while we're cooking breakfast. Um, or he can be in his bed while you're making beds upstairs or whatever. He can be in his bed, um, you know, while you're eating dinner. And that way he's not sneaking around the house. He's not marking, he's not chewing stuff up. So just avoiding those things from happening is gonna help you get over those things. And so right there, the place command can help with the manners issues, the chewing, the house training, stuff like that. But then like I say, the bigger stuff, the uh, you know, the, the barking, the, the door aggression. If he goes there and you can teach him a good place command, um, you're gonna be in great shape in order to, you know, kind of help him uh, just be calm when the doorbell rings or calm when guests come over. Like we got dogs that sometimes that are aggressive when people come over. And if we can put them in their bed and they can kind of calm down for the first five minutes, it's the first few minutes that really spook them, but if they can calm down for the first five minutes, now we have a dog who's not aggressive anymore. And so, the place command can solve so many issues. Teach the dog how to be calm in the house. So I'm gonna show you exactly how we do it. Hey, what's up uh, dog owners? Wanted to do a quick cutaway because I thought I would take a minute and share with you that there's other ways that you can use this outside of what I'm teaching in this training video. Um, in this training video, I'm talking about how to use the place command for indoors um, to teach calmness and to, you know, to, to overcome other problems. But for a lot of folks that are doing things outside, you can do the same, you can teach the same place command, but you could teach it to like a, like a blanket or like a small mat type thing. You can bring that with you when you go um, to a picnic. You can bring that with you when you go have a day at the beach. You can bring that with you when you go have a day up in the mountains, whatever it is, you know, where you want the dog to be a part of the family. You don't necessarily want to bring a leash and tie the dog to a tree or something like that. Um, but you know that, hey, I'm going to be, my mind's going to be a lot of different places. I can't like 100% supervise the dog. There's going to be times in there where if you just put the dog on 
the mat that it's gonna you know it's gonna it's gonna help you out a ton so other ways that you can use this training make sure that you use them all all right so let me show you how we do this the place command has two parts that's all you got to worry about now in the beginning stages you really should have the leash on your dog in the house um, because if you don't, you can't teach your dog anything. But two stages. Number one, I want you to go there. Number two, I want you to stay there. Now I use the word place. Come on, place. So for to get him on, come on, place. I'm just gonna help him on. Place, come on, come on, there we go. Now to get him to stay put, place, place. As he tries to leave the bed, I just use those, you see those quick little taps? Now again, we're using a training collar here. And if you don't know what we're using with the training collar, place, place. Place, there you go, a little nudge, good boy, good boy. So if you don't know what we're using as far as the training collar goes, um, there is a video in this training series that you that, uh, um, that you should go back and watch because it shows which training collars. But this is the reason I like training collars. I don't have to use a lot of correction. Place, place, nudge up, place, good boy, good boy, there you go, good boy. And so the second he's off, I call this the hot lava game. You ever play hot lava when you're a kid and you jump from couch to couch to the coffee table, your mom hated you for it? Not hated you, hated the game. Um, and so the second you touch the ground, that's hot lava. That's what we want to teach the dog. And when we said place, if you get off, oh, place, place, good boy, there you go. And so all I'm doing is just these light corrections to get him back onto position, good boy. Good boy. Oh, you thought about it. Oh, you thought about it. Place. Good boy. Ah, I might not have needed to give that correction then. But you see, he's very new to this. You see, he was thinking about getting off and then he kind of checked himself. And I kind of made the mistake because I didn't realize he was checking himself. Good boy. Good boy. A little bit of food to remind him that he's doing a good job. And then if he gets off, it's hot lava. Oh, you're not falling for it. Good boy, good boy. So with the place command, I don't care if he's sitting, standing, or lying down, because what will happen is you want to do this with what I call integration training. So integration training is do this while you watch TV, do this while you work on your computer, um, do this while you're doing something else, because then it's going to, you know, he's not used to this, so he's just standing, he's like, are we going to do something next? Um, uh, but um, what we want to do is integrate this with what you're already doing, and what that leads to is it leads to uh, very quickly and very easily the dog doing this for five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. And soon you'll realize, hey, if I'm gonna be here for a little bit, might as well uh, might as well just get comfortable. And you'll see the dog go to place and he'll sit really quick or he'll lie down really quick. So it's a very simple thing to train. You wanna always think about three Ds, distance, duration, distraction. So distance wise, I'm not gonna get much further than the end of a leash. Because if I do, if I'm over there, and he gets off of his bed, I know I have a really good way of communicating that he's not supposed to do that. Um, distance duration, meaning I'm gonna slowly build the amount of time he stays there, and then distraction, I wouldn't do this with heavy distraction in his first session. We're gonna build up to the doorbell, we're gonna build up to the cat, we're gonna build up to the kids wrestling, and stuff like that. So, so anyways, this place command is so helpful um, and so beneficial for so many things in the house, make sure that uh, you're teaching it to your dog. All right, dog owners, we train um, thousands of dog uh, dog owners every year. Hands down, this place command, sending their dog to the bed, is their favorite because they use it, and they use it every single day. It's something that they use um, to solve a lot of issues inside the home. So apply this, implement this, actually put forth the effort because if you do, this is something that's so helpful, so useful, and you'll be so grateful that you did. And... If you haven't already, make sure that, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, go down to the description, click the link, you'll get free access to our 10 day training course. Um, completely free, no obligation. Um, just go down, click that link, and you'll see how we train dogs to do all sorts of things, to get rid of aggression and destruction and leash pulling and all sorts of things. So go click that link and we'll see you on the other training.